So this video is going to be about RNA processing. So eukaryotic RNA processing. So this process of modifying our pre-mRNA to make mRNA only takes place in eukaryotes. So prokaryotes don't have this step right here. So after termination in eukaryotes, the end product is going to be this molecule of pre-mRNA that then we're going to have to modify a little bit to make this uh, mature mRNA molecule that can then be sent into the cytoplasm and actually read by a ribosome. So we have three stages of this RNA processing. So the first stage is splicing, then capping, and tailing. So looking at splicing more carefully, so in this pre-mRNA molecule, we have sequences of DNA called introns and exons. And so exons are going to be the portions that are actually going to code for the protein. And so we want to get rid of this non-coding portion in the middle, which is called an intron. So splicing is going to be the removal of this intron, or the removal of all introns really in this pre-mRNA, and the joining together of these exons to eventually make this mature um, mRNA molecule. And so the spliceosome is going to be the complex of proteins and small RNAs that's actually going to um, remove this intron and carry out that process. And so in the spliceosome, we also have things called ribozymes. So ribozymes are going to be molecules of RNA that are going to be able to function as enzymes. Um, and so those also play an important role in helping to take out these introns and then connect the exons together. So moving on to how we alter the ends of our RNA molecule. So we have to alter the RNA molecule, that way when it leaves the nucleus, it's going to be protected from degradation by cytoplasmic enzymes. So in capping, we're going to add modified guanine nucleotides to the 5' prime end of our RNA molecule, and that's going to be called this 5' prime cap. So tailing, on the other hand, is going to be the attachment of a poly A tail at the three prime end. So we're gonna add 50 to 250 adenine nucleotides to the three prime end. And so that is what's signaled for by this polyadenylation signal that we talked about briefly in the last video. And so just to review, we have to splice out the introns and join together our exons. Then we're going to add a five prime cap made up of these modified guanine nucleotides as well as a poly A tail with 50 to 250 adenine nucleotides being added to our three prime end to make this mature mRNA molecule that is now ready for translation. I hope you found this video really helpful. All images, unless otherwise stated, are from Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You can schedule a free one-on-one -on -one 30 minute appointment or you can drop in during uh, any of our normal business hours. For more details, visit www.baylor.edu tutoring.